What is good guys? We are back with another video. It's your boy Mansa. Today we are taking a South African quiz. Guys, you know I've been here for the longest. A lot of y'all already been saying, when are you going home? When are you going home? How long you been here? Blah, 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 blah. Look, if I pass this test today, I am now considered a citizen. You can no longer ask me those questions. Today, we got the South African quiz. There's 25 questions. And I think I can at least get 20 out of the 25, y'all. 20 out of 25 at least. If 20 out of 25 is a passing, it's passing, right? That's passing. That's 20 out of 25 of the questions. That's passing. If I pass, I'm a, I'm a citizen, y'all. I'm a citizen. Let's go ahead and get right into this, man. Y'all new here, smash the and like the video. Let's get it. All right. Okay. Okay. So here, we got the big South Africa quiz. Do you know your Bill Tong from your bow borrowers? Cape Town from Kruger National Park. Get comfy. Pour yourself a mug of Rubois Rube tea or glass of Pinot. Bro, the reading is just not reading today. And put your South African knowledge to the test in the big South Africa quiz. Think you can score full marks? Yes, I do. Simply pick the answer you think is correct from the multiple choice options. There are 25 questions themed around South Africa's most iconic and best loved landscapes. The glorious food, the wildlife, the safari, and more. Your score and answers are at the end of the quiz. Okay. First one's easy. First one's easy, y'all. Let's start with something easy. Okay, let's do that. Which of these is the South African flag? Okay, I think it's this one. Psych. Come on now. It's this one, bro. I'm just joking with y'all. I'm messing with y'all. I'm messing with y'all. It's the one, right? <laughs> Let me not mess too much. Okay. If you've been up, if you've been up Table Mountain, as y'all seen, I did go up Table Mountain. Drunk, by the way. Like, left the club, hike Table Mountain. I wouldn't try it. Don't do it at home. Hike Table Mountain. You'll likely have spotted a dancing. I didn't spot one of those. Also known as rock rabbits. These small creatures are the closest living re relative to what other animal? Bro, I did not see one of those. But if I was to guess, I mean, it says literally a rock rabbit. So it's got to be the closest living relative to whatever animal, a rabbit. Like, come on, fam. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Okay. Number three. This remote spot has skies so dark and free from pollution. It's one of just a handful of places on the planet declared an international darts. But I don't know this one. Hold on, hold on. The remote spot has skies so dark and free from pollution. It's one of just a handful of places on the planet declared an international dark. Where's this at? Uh, Northern Cape. Let's go Northern Cape. Northern Cape. Northern Cape. I'm gonna go Northern Cape. I, I have no clue. Y'all don't know either. I don't know why you over sitting like you know. You don't know either. Which of the following animals are commonly referred to as the big five? The lion. That that one's not it. It's not the lion and the leopard, okay? It's not lion and leopard. It's not lion and leopard. Oh, it might be lion and leopard. What? Oh, my gosh. Really? The big five? A leopard is, a, is the big five? Okay. Obviously, it is a leopard. Okay. So, it is a leopard. Is cheetah considered? I don't think it's cheetah. So I'm going to go with lion, leopard, rhino. rhino. That's a rhino. Elephant and a buffalo. No, that's not it, bro. Lion, leopard, cheetah, rhino. Elephant is one of them. So this one's wrong automatically. This one's completely wrong. We're going to do elimination. <laughs> We're going to eliminate. It's out of these two right here. Elephant, elephant. It's either, it's either a cheetah or a rhino. A cheetah or... I'm going to go with the rhino, y'all. I'm going to go with the rhino. I think the rhino is part of the big five. I don't think the cheetah is part of the big five. I don't think so. I think it's the lion, the leopard, the rhino, the elephant, and the buffalo. It's got to be. It's got to be. Approximately how much would you expect to pay for a three-course meal with drinks at a nice restaurant? Really? And it's in pounds? Y'all couldn't even put it in range. I got to put it in pounds. Like, What? This is a whole South African website, and y'all put it in pounds. Oh, it does say United Kingdom up here. What does that even mean? Okay, whatever. Um, um, it's not gonna be 200 pounds. What is 20 
What is what is this? What is this in rands? I'm gonna say six pounds. I'm gonna say it's gonna be six to twenty pounds, and I'm gonna say six pounds. I'm gonna say three course meal with with drinks at a nice restaurant. Ah, this is diff. I'm gonna say twenty pounds, y'all. I'm gonna say twenty pounds, right? Like a three course meal. That's that's your that's your that's your that's your um that's your starter, your meal, your dessert, and your drinks. That's good. That's twenty pounds. Twenty pounds, bro. Twenty pounds at least. All right, which. Oh, look, look, look. With a largely untouched coastline, there is no shortage of quiet and idyllic bays and beaches. In fact, there's hundreds of them. How long is South... Really? Y'all really gonna ask me this? I'm gonna pick the longest one. A thousand miles. A thousand seven hundred miles, at least. That coastline is freaking long, bro. It's gotta be... It's gotta be over a thousand miles, right? Gotta be gotta be gotta be the traditional south african dish poiki what the heck is a poiki also known as pot pot pajekos is what bro i've never heard of this we're gonna we're gonna play the biggest guessing game it's not dried cured meat can't be right that's biltong a South African sausage, no, that's not, that's swords or whatever you want to call it. A hollowed out loaf of bread stuffed with a spot, no, that is a, um, um, they got them in Durban. Yeah, those. A traditional stewed cook over a campfire, that's that, that, I'm going to pick that. Because the other three, I know what they are. Elimination, guys. This is why, this is why I was an A-plus student. This is why I was an A-plus student, because... Elimination. If you know the other answers, then it's the answer that you don't. It's that one. That's a bunny chow. That's a wars, and that is a biltong. Like it's got to be that one, right? Okay. Number eight. The koi people call it koi people. I've heard of those people. I might get this one right. Hold on. The koi people call it Herokwago Mountain in the Sea. What is better known as a mountain in the sea? Oh, shoot. Yep, I think you got me on this one. What is better known as... It's not Table Mountain. It's not in the sea. Cape of Good Hope. Cape of Good Hope. Cape of Good Hope. Final answer. Cape of Good Hope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Whilst the great white shark captures most people's attention, approximately how many shark species swim in South Africa's waters. Really? I never went shark cage diving. I was supposed to in December. I would probably know this question right now, but I don't. So how many shark, how many? I'm not, there's definitely not a hundred. There's not a hundred different shark species, but there could be, but is there? Whilst, hold on, let me, let me read this again. Let me, let me, let me, let me focus. Whilst the great white shark captures most people's attention, Okay, the great white shark captures most people's attention, which it does. Have y'all seen Jaws? I mean, <laughs> approximately how many shark species swim in South Africa's waters? I don't know. I don't know. Let's say... Uh, I would say 10, but that just doesn't sound like enough. And then 50 sounds like too many. <laughs> it's... Uh, the ocean is huge, y'all. It's very, very big. I'm going to say 50. I'm going to say 50. I know I'm probably wrong. I, I know. But you know what? That one right there. Which city is home to the world's largest man-made forest with over 10 million trees? Really? A man-made forest with over 10 million trees. I don't I don't know this one. I don't. It's not in Joburg. I feel like I would have heard, I would have seen it. It's not in Cape Town and it's not in Durban. I'm going to, uh, is it in Durban? No, it's in Port Elizabeth. Port Elizabeth, PE. I'm going with PE. And I'm, I'm going to say it's the garden route, right? It's got to be the garden route. It's in the garden route. I'm probably all types of wrong, but I'm going to go with Port Elizabeth just because I've been to Durban. I've been to Cape Town. I've been to Joburg. I have not been to Port Elizabeth. And I've never heard of a, of a place, a forest with 10 million trees in any of these places I've been to. So I'm going to Port Elizabeth. 
All right, <clears throat> this secluded and unspoiled town on the Eastern Cape's wild coast lends itself to surfing, bird watching, hiking, and fishing, but what is the name? It's home to the hole in the wall rock formation. I, I, I don't know this one. It's home to the hole in the wall rock formation. I don't know this one. <laughs> Amarula sounds good. I'm gonna go with that one just cause the drink is Amarula. <laughs> You can't go wrong with Amarula. You can't go wrong with Amarula. Eastern Cape's wild coast lens and such. I'm gonna go with Ruboys Bay. It just sounds good. It sounds good. Ruboys Bay, like, it just sounds like something that somebody would name something. Ruboys Bay. South Africa uses how many official languages? There's Osa, there's Zulu, there's Swana, there's Betty, there's Afrikaans, there's, um, there's five already. Um, uh, uh, my, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go with 11. I'm gonna go with 11. Uh, it just, it just sounds like the number. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I know all of them. I, that's the one. That's the one. I don't know all of them, but I, I feel like that was like 13. 11? How, South Africa uses how many languages? Hold on. Osa, Zulu, Tswana, uh, English, Afrikaans. I'm over counting. Uh, Beatty, Venda. Um. Ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've been here long enough. How do I not know? I would say 11, bro. I'm gonna say 11. It should be, it could be nine though. Like I couldn't even, I'm having trouble naming three, three more. If I can name three more, it's definitely 11. I'm just gonna go with 11. It's gotta be 11, bro. The mighty and, uh, the mighty and away inspiring Drakensberg is the largest mountain range in the country. Ideal for adventurous travelers and lovers of the great outdoors. What does the name Drakensburg mean? Really? Drakensburg. Sounds like a dragon. Drake. Drake. A goddess. Solitary. Volcanic. Goddess mountain. Drakensburg. That just doesn't even... Drakensburg, that's a dragon, bro. I don't know, bro. Drakensburg is a dragon. I don't know. I'm gonna go with that. You're ha you're just over halfway. Keep going. Okay, I, I know. I'm almost there. Hopefully, I get 20 out of 25, or I'm I'm really banned from here. Like I I'm not gonna be a citizen. I'm not gonna let you guys down. I'm not gonna let you down. All right, French fr French 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 Hook French Hook is home to over 80 independent winemakers. Okay, yes they are. Yes they are. This is in Stellenbosch. What's a popular way to enjoy its wine? Really? You gonna ask me that question? My, I just don't feel like, I feel like people are too lazy to do it on foot. If you drink a wine, who's gonna walk? On bike, you're not doing, by tram, you're not exercising, bro. You're taking the train to each, to each, to each one of them. You're taking the train. Ain't no way you walking. They not, they not walking. South Africa's answer to British sticky, toughy pudding is called what? Malva pudding, Malva pudding. Malva pudding. Yes, sir. Y'all know who put me on that Malva pudding. Y'all know who put me on the Malva pudding. Zulu girl put me on Malva pudding. Malva pudding is definitely fine. All right. Uh, Villa Villa Kazi Street in Johannesburg was once home to Nobel Peace Prize winners, former President Nelson Mandela and Tutu, Desmond Tutu. Archbishop Desmond Tutu. And which township is it local? Soweto. Soweto. Uh, kind of like Tambisa though. I'm not going to lie. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. It's either Tambisa or Soweto. Ah. Uh, I feel like I've seen this in Tambisa. I'm going to go Soweto. I'm going to go with my first instinct. If my first instinct fails me, then I failed. I failed this test. What is the national animal bird and fly... 
What is the national animal, bird, and flower of South Africa? It's the springbok. Okay, so off the bat, I know that this one's wrong with the lion and this one's wrong with the wrong with the lion. It is a springbok. And that's all I know. What is the bird? A blue crane? And the flower is a... I'm gonna go with this one. You know why? You know why I'm going with this one? Springbok, of course. Blue crane, I don't, I don't really know. But Protea, it reminds me of Pretoria. You know what I'm saying? Protea, Pretoria. It's gotta be that one. It's gotta be that one. And Pro Pretoria is probably the home of the flower. Ah, oh, you're so smart, man. So you're so freaking smart, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. What is Rorke's Rour 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 Drift? Clue, it's found in the Zulu Kingdom with KwaZulu Natal Province. I have no clue. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it is a sand dune. It's one of these two, an ancient underground cave or a sand dune. I'm gonna go with sand dune. Sounds about right. South Africa boasts the world's longest continuous wine route. Yes, really. What is it called? Clue, it links up the garden route. The garden route. Ah, the garden route. Ah, oh, it's not even a, it's not even a, uh, Oh shoot, it's not even an answer. I knew for sure. What? You? Why you try to trick me like that? Why you try to put Cape Town, links Cape Town to Port Elizabeth? That's the garden route. Route 66 is not it. Route 62 is not it. It's either the wine Cape, the Cape Winelands or Chapman's Peak Drive. <sighs> the Cape Winelands, I'm gonna go with that one. It sounds right. Kirstenbosch is, Man, where's the like the traditional questions? I feel like I could get those right. Man, you talking about some Ah, what is this? Kirsten Bosch. A type of South African soup, a botanical garden, an iconic parliament building, the nickname for the South African rugby team. That can't be a rugby team. Kirsten? Kirsten Bosch? That sounds like a female for one. Uh an iconic parliament building. Yeah, I'ma say that one. It's not a soup. There's no way there's a soup called Kirsten Bosch. Like, why, who would name the soup after a white woman? Like, <laughs> a type of South African soup. I want that Kirsten Bosch. No, that is not it. <laughs> that is not it. Okay, so it's not that one. And it it's not the rugby team. It's got to be... It sounds like a place. It doesn't even sound like a, a name of... A botanical garden, an iconic parliament building. Ah, shoot. Okay, okay. This one's. This one's. Uh, go with your instincts. Go with your instincts, man. So, like, they will never fail you. They gonna fail me today. Okay. Okay. What are what are the marks of a leopard called? Really? I'm gonna say rosettes. They're not spots. They're not blobs. They're not Dalmatia. Well, it could be Dalmatia, because the Dalmatians. Dalmat Ooh, hold on. Hold on, y'all. We gotta we gotta think about this one. I know y'all seen 101 Dalmatians. The dogs got the Dal the Dalmatians got the Dal Dalmatia spots. That's why they're called Dalmatians. Dalmatia. 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 That's gotta be it. The well close route in the Western Cape is the only place in the world where you can see what? The Marine Fox. There you go. Hell, I don't know. It'd be ironic if it's called the Well Coast and you see the big five where you see elephants. Like, it's called the Well Coast, but I'm looking at elephants, leopards, and <laughs> buffaloes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. The well close route is 
and the Western Cape is the only place in the, I don't know why I keep rereading it like it's gonna help me figure out the answer. Maybe it will, I don't know. Um, the Well Coast Route in the Western Cape is the only place in the world where you can see Is there a such thing as the Marine Five? The Marine Five. <laughs> ah. The Marine Five, it has to be the Marine Five. Southern right whale, what is a Southern right whale? A right whale. I'm gonna say great white sharks. I don't know. I don't know. Is there a such thing as the Marine Five? I've heard of the Maroon Five, like Maroon, not the Marine Five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna go with the Great White Shark. I'm gonna go with the Great White Shark. I'm gonna go with the Great White Shark because if you go west, that is the Atlantic Ocean. So the water is a lot. I don't know. I'm trying to be smart, but I don't know. Let's just go with that one. Okay. No. Okay, let's just go with that. I have no clue. I can miss five. I can miss five, y'all. It's full as our falls in the Northern Cape carries more water than Niagara Falls. How tall is it? Whoa, where is this? I have no clue. Like, you ask me questions. I've never visited this place. Why would this be a question on the South African quiz? Like, give me some questions about what's going on in these streets. <laughs> give me a question of what's going on in these streets. Not some type of scientific question on something I ain't never been before. <laughs> Come on, doubt. I'm going to say it's about as tall as Victoria Falls because uh, I have no clue. Oh. We got two more questions, y'all. Which of the following animals are commonly referred to as the little five? There's a such thing as a little five? Oh, my gosh. The mongoose. This one with, with the mongoose. I'm saying this one. It has to be this one. The rhino beetle, gassy dwarf mongoose, elephant shrew, Kirby's. It's that one. It's that one. <sighs> Kugalati Trans Frontier Park in the Northern Cape is abundant with wildlife such as the leopard, meerkat, endangered African wild dog. And what other legendary species? I'm tired of these questions, bro. An, an endangered African, hold on. Cape is abundant with wildlife, such as the leopard, the meerkat, endangered African wild dog, and what, I've seen the endangered African wild dog. I've seen those, by the way. And what other legendary species? There's a such thing as a brown-tailed elephant. I'm gonna say that one. Never heard of a brown-tailed elephant. You submitted, no way y'all submitted my answers, bro. I wasn't even done. Oh, I can't, I didn't even get to look over my questions. What's my, what's my, what's my score? What's my score? What's my score? Gots to be kidding. No, bro, there's no way, bro. You know what? I'm not even worried about it because you know why? Because these wasn't real street questions. You know what I'm saying? These was questions that I've never even been to these places, bro. These are not real. Bro, ask me, you know what I'm saying, what's going on in these streets, and I will tell you. I will tell you what's going on in these streets. Hold on. Let me just... <sighs> there's no way. I want to know which ones I got wrong. Table Mountain? I put, oh my gosh. There's over a hundred of those sharks. Johannesburg has the largest man-made, where? Where? Please somebody tell me where. Somebody please tell me where. Where is the, where is the, where is the, where is the man-made forest with over 10 million trees in Joburg? Please somebody tell me. 11 languages, you see I got that one right? Cause my ears is on the streets, y'all. I'm in the streets. I know about things like that. 
the Nobel Peace Prize with uh, Mandela and Tutu. Guess where it's at? Soweto. You know why? Because I'm from the streets. Uh, Malva Pudding. You know why? Because I'm from the street. I know all the street knowledge. Route 62. Oh my gosh, bro. Rosettes. Rosettes. I knew it. It was Rosettes. The whole 101 Dalmatian crap. Oh my gosh, bro. See? Oh my gosh, bro. 100. Why would I? Why would, why would that even pop in my head? 101 Dalmatians. Dalmatian. Because it said Dalmatia. Dalmatia. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so you swear. Black Man Lion was the last one. We picked the brown tail elephant. I was wrong with this with the little five as well. Oh, I was right with the Kirsten Bosch though. A botanical was I? I think I was, right? What did I pick? I don't even know. See, it needs to tell me what I picked and what I which ones I got wrong. Like it just showing me the answers. Like I wanna know. 48%, that, that might even be correct. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, y'all. Look, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was very, very fun. You know what I'm saying? I need another quiz. I need Reggie, hit me up with another quiz, man. I need some. I need something about the streets. You feel me? Cause I'm a. Hey, I don't. I have never been to some of these touristy spots. I have no clue. Most of the questions that I got right is because it's, it's street knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like the language. Like, come on, fam. Like 48 percent. That is garbage, bro. Oh my gosh. I can't. Huh? 48 percent. I'm really surprised I only got 48%. That's not even, that's not even, bro, that's not even 48%. That's not even 12, that's not even, that's like 11 out of 25, bro. 10 out of 20, that is trash. That is terrible. That is terrible. I need to study more about South Africa, I guess. Look, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like. If y'all want more quiz type videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm trying to add a little different spices to the video. Just, just you know, I'm trying different things on the channel, man. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, smash that sub button, like the video. Stay tuned for the next one, y'all. Peace.